Hey guys, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. And today we got some unboxings for volume collection. So I know that there is gonna be some delays for volume collection. So I know people are really excited um, for what's coming up in this set, especially the Heel Guardians. That's like the biggest thing that's like coming out of this thing. So we're gonna crack open some Heel Guardians. There's basically, since we have one of volume one and one of volume two, we're basically gonna get one of each clan, so that's pretty cool. Three cards are brand new for reprints, so getting reprints for the secondary market is nice. So I'm really excited to open these boxes, but before I do, we gotta say a quick thank you to our sponsor for today's video, which is Triple Sleeve TCG. If you guys don't already know who Triple Sleeve TCG is, it's an online website where you can purchase bundles, play sets, um, case splits, so you can go in, pick a clan or a nation, depending on if it's a D-series or V-series set, you pick base rarity play sets of everything you wanna get, order from them, and then they ship all the cards and full play sets, making it easier for you to update your decks. They have card sleeves, they have sleep protectors, if you guys like those uh, clear Bushy Road brand over sleeves, you can get those there as well. So thank you again, Triple Sleep TCG, for always sponsoring our videos and for sponsoring these unboxings. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right back into cracking these open. All right, so we got one of each box, Volume Collection 1 and 2. So we're just gonna kind of go ahead and go in order and start with Volume Collection 1. And our uh, Mishka Maushka tool today is the good old box opener. Never go wrong with that one. Ooh, well, there's some artwork on the sides too. So we got a uh, Seal Dragon, Dykeiser, the Beast Tamer thing, I forget the name. Um, tells you what formats they're good in, so you can use in V Premium Premium, which is pretty cool that, that it lets you know what the format you can use it in. That's pretty cool. 12 packs per display, seven cards per pack, and each pack is supposed to be a clan. So let's go ahead and open it up, ooh. We got protect marker for mega colony. Oh, and it's on both sides. That's really cool. Well, I gotta add that to the list of things I gotta collect. All right, cool. All right. Should be uh, 12 packs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12. Cool. Pack numero uno. So bring me to triangles up first. So we got grade four. Um, at the end of the battle, this attack, choose three normal units uh, from your rear and drop, and you choose six or different names. You stand this unit and put the chosen card on the bottom of your deck, so uh, Highlander support. Uh, oh, it's not. Oh, wow, it's not clan packs. All right, cool, good to know. Uh, when this unit attack hits, if you have a Vanguard with Dudley in its name, Count plus one, put this unit on the bottom of your deck. Choose up to one non-grade two with deadly in its name, call it to rear. When this is put into your deck from rear, choose one of your units and you move all the force markers on your circles to that. You know, okay, so moving force markers, nothing new there. Heal Guardian for Royal Paladin. Gonna have, be adding those into my uh, V and V uh, premium decks. Uh, so Heal Guardians, if you don't already know, they all do the exact same thing. So it's uh, when this is placed on guard stock from hand, if you did not ride to grade three, um, you can give your Vanguard 10K for the turn or choose one of your opponent's units that's attacking and it gets crit minus two. Um, and then if you call this, uh, and if you don't have a face-up card, if you don't have any cards in your damage, you put the top deck, uh, top card of your deck in your damage zone, so it gives you a counter blast. So it's a good like resource and kind of like protecting yourself early game from your opponent abusing you the minute they ride to grade three. So these are really helpful. Uh, only downfall I would say is that they have 15k defense instead of 20k, but that's honestly fair. Um, triple R, grade three for Pale Moon. So let's see. Tilalix, I can't even pronounce that. Act, once per turn, counterblast, put two units from your hand into your soul. Choose up to two grade two or less from your soul and call in the rear. Then choose one of your front row rear guards with Beast Tamer in its name uh, that's different from this unit's uh, and the circle that this unit becomes a V until the end of turn. That was a lot of words. Choose one of your front row rear guards with Beast Tamer that is different from this unit's and the circle in that unit becomes a Vanguard circle. I understand, so now you can perform a drive check because it's a Vanguard circle. During your turn, all of your front row get a 1K for each your grade 1 cards with bunny in its name so cool so bunny support 
uh, Kagro, Grade 2. Uh, this might be a reprint, but I'm not sure. Act, uh, Van, Count Plus 1. Put a normal unit from your drop zone to the bottom of the deck. Choose one of your opponents, Grade 2 or less rear guards, retire it. And if your hand is 4 or less, you draw a card. Not bad. Dimension Police. Uh, when this is wrote upon, so it's a grade one, when this is wrote upon seven cards in your deck, pick a grade three, add it. When this is placed in rear, choose one of your grade three vanguards, it gets 5k. Not bad. This is a reprint for sure. Uh, oh, it's the uh, looking uh, for grade three cards. So when you place it from hand, you look at top five, add a grade three. Uh, and then during your turn, it gets a secondary effect for 5k. This one is if another unit of the same name this is in the same column, this gets 5k. So during your turn, if you have another unit in the same column, this gets 5k. So that was it for that pack. So I thought that we had it set up so that they were um, like clan packs, but apparently it's still up to RNG. I don't know if that's a good thing, but here we go. So we have OTT, when this is placed on fan or rear, grade two, can plus one, draw a card, choose a nomia from your drop, put it at the top of your deck. Okay. Um, if your opponent's grid is grade 3 or greater, you can put it into your soul instead on the top of your deck. So I guess that's decent. I mean, it puts normal units. Oh, you can put Amaterasu on the top of your deck. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, bunny support for that grade 3 card we saw earlier. When this is placed on Vanguard Circle, look at 7 cards. Choose the one card with Beast Tame in its name, put it in your hand. And then the rear guard circle, all we have continuing is if you put a card in your hand, um... Choose a card from your hand you put into your soul, so you have to lose a card. But at least you get put stuff in your soul, so it's still helpful. At the end of the battle, this unit attack or boosted. Choose one of your rear guards and you put in your soul. That's pretty decent. Uh, Heal Guardian for Kagro. So we got Eradicator, Vowing Sword Dragon. So skill is when your opponent's normal unit is bound other than from their deck. Your opponent searches your deck for up to one card the same name as the bound unit and binds it. And you choose one of your units and it gets 5k. Your opponent, if your opponent did not bind a card, this gets 10k instead of 5k. So that's really interesting. Uh, when this is wrote upon, so break ride, like the OG one, you call this card to rear guard circle and you choose a card from your opponent's drop for every two cards in your damage zone and you bind them. So more binding effects there. Uh, Genesis card. When this is placed on rear guard circle, um, you may put a card from your drop zone into the soul. That's not bad. When this unit attacks, if your opponent's grand, vanguard is grade 3 or greater, count blast 1, choose one of your units, and until the embed gets power and crit that it had gotten from the trigger effects this turn. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, choose one of your units, and it gets uh, power and crit that unit had from trigger effects, so you can transfer triggers. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, Spike Brothers card when this is placed on Van or Rear. Count plus one, search your deck for up to one grade three, call it, so that's pretty good. If you have a grade three unit in the same column as this, this gets boost, that's really good. Uh, grade three searcher for Murakumo. Oop. And that seems to be it. So it looks like the ratios seem to be one heal guardian, one grade three searchers, and the other three, I believe, seem to just kind of be like new cards, but as we keep going, we'll figure it out. All right. First card, Eradicator Spark Rain Dragon. So this is a new card, I believe. Uh, during your turn, 1k for each of your opponent's bind zone. At the end of this unit attack, come plus one. Choose the column this unit's in, bind all the front rows, and move all the back rows to the front instead. Not bad for a non-attack thing and binding stuff. Oh, nice! We got the VSR Blaster Blade Seeker. That's that's really dope. Oh man, that's cool. Uh, Blaster Blade Seeker skill is when this unit is placed on Van Rear, you discard a card from your hand. Choose one of your points from your rear guards and you retire it, and then you choose one of your vanguards with Seeker in its name uh, that's grade less than or equal to your opponent's vanguard, and its original critical becomes two. So you can use some grade two turn if your vanguard's Blaster Blade Seeker. Obviously use it on Thing Saver Dragon, making it have two crit. Wow, that's really good. At the end of the battle, if this unit attack, if you did not ride this turn, you put this unit on the bottom of your deck and you draw a card. That's pretty dope for a skill. That's really cool that we got the uh, VSR for Blaster Blade. All right. Uh, Mega Colony, Heal Guardian, Die Kaiser. So Die Kaiser's skill 
uh, is this unit, if this unit's power is 35 or greater, it gets crit plus one on Van. Front row rear guard circle or Van. They know about that a grade three was revealed during your drive check. If your opponent called a total of one Sentinel, uh, you kind of lost one, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage. At the end of the turn, if the end one on the, on the rear guard circle, you put this into your soul. So that's pretty dope. You can fill up your grade threes. Um, when this unit is rode upon, call this to the front row rear and get an imaginary gift force and put it on your vanguard marker. That's so good because you get two force markers anyways. Die cards is such a good card. Uh, reprint, Nudo. So this is this was Hugo support. Um, or it still is, technically. Uh, it gets boost. So that's cool. It's a triple R foiling now. And I believe this is a reprint, but I'm not sure. Uh, when placed on Vanner Rear, discard a card from your hand. Draw a card. And if you discarded a grade 3 for the cost, choose one of your opponent's rear guards without any cradle markers. Put a cradle marker in it. I do believe this was Gridora support in the past. Uh, Mighty Bolt reprint. So search is a grade 3 for Narukami. And that's it for that pack. So, damn. That's already nice. I don't know if this is guaranteed one per box, but we'll have to keep going just to see. If the other box does have a VSR, then we'll know it's probably one per box. All right. Next up, um, Augustus. This is really good for a lot of decks. Uh, Gansalot, um, Thing Saver, and obviously uh, Sanctuary Guard. When this unit boosts a unit with Blaster Blade in its name, so Blaster Blade Seeker or Blaster Blade, uh, counter plus one, discard a card from your hand, and the boost unit gets 5k and a drive check. So the drive check is there for um, Gansalot. So if you're playing the Gansalot deck, now your Blaster Blade um, gets a drive check, so now it has twin drive. So that's really cool. So you get basically four drive checks if you play Gansalot. Back row, at the end of the battle, your Vanguard attack, you stand this. So that's the Sanctuary Guard thing and also Thing Saver thing. So after your Vanguard attacks, you can stand this. And then, you know, just get another boost out of it. If you write in a Thing Saver, obviously, if you rest your back row, you can restand this with from Sanctuary Guard skills. So really good card. OTT card. Um, when this is placed on Van, you search your deck for Tsukiyomi, write it as stand. Cool. So just more Tsukiyomi stuff. Um, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, rear guard circle, put one of your grade 2 or less rear guards in your soul, so like Tsukiyomi. Look at two cards on the top of your deck, choose up to two from among them, put them on the top of your deck in any order, put the rest in your body deck. So that's honestly a really good card for Tsukiyomi, wow. Um, Aqua Force Heal Guardian, that's a really dope art. And there's Thing Saver, cool. So uh, now we got the, uh, hang on, we got the Legion artwork to, to match up. Is it the other way? Oh, it's this way. There we go. It's a little off, but I believe that's how the Legion artwork is supposed to line up. That's Yeah, it's the building in the background lines up like that. But that's pretty cool. Uh, Thing Saver skill is when this is placed on Vanguard Circle, you search your deck for Blast Blade Seeker and you call it so that way you can get its effect off. Uh, until the end of the turn, that unit gets 10k for each of your Force Markers. So the more you're riding, the power, more powerful Blast Blade gets. At the end of the battle of this attack, if you did not ride this turn, you soul blast three, choose four cards from your drop, return them to your deck, like Legion. Search your deck for one thing saver, ride it to stand, shuffle your deck. So it's basically exactly like Legion, you just soul blast three, um, and you return four instead of soul blast three, drop two. So that's even better. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can clone this with um, Crystal Luster, that makes a pretty decent premium deck, I would assume. Um, it sucks that you won't get the blaster effects because you won't be legioning like exactly. You won't have blaster, blaster blade on your vanguard circle, but you know maybe there, there's some there's something there. There's something there that we could do with this. Um, but yeah, thing saver is pretty good. So, Spiritualist sorcerer Kroot. Uh When this place on vanguard, your soul charge feature units. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. This is probably really good, just because Soul Charge for each of your rear guards, for each of your units, so it counts Van. This is probably really good, but maybe it's like a, a one of? I don't know. Aqua. Uh, this has to be a reprint. Uh, when this place on Van Rear, you reveal one of your normal units on rear. Or return. Sorry, not reveal. If you returned one, you draw a card. 
Discard from your hand, it's going to be used once per turn. During your turn, if you have another unit in the same column, it gets 5k. It's kind of like the grade 1 uh, that searches grade 3s. Acrobat Verdi, I believe this is a reprint. When it's placed on Van der Rear, oh yeah, it's the one that searches uh, grade 3s for Spike Rose. I believe that's it. Yeah, we just got through that pack. Let's keep going, let's keep going. First card, this is probably new. We got another Dudley. Dudley Daisy. Um, when it's placed on rear by the ability of a card with Dudley, so less one, search for a grade 3 Dudley called to rear. At the end of the turn, the unit called, put on the bottom of your deck. Blue Wave Dragon, Propulsion Dragon. So Propulsion Dragon is at the end of the battle that attacked a grade 2 or greater Vanguard. Uh, you can't blast, choose one of your back row units, exchanges positions. If you exchange positions, you stand this unit. So this is a great one with boost. And you could just do it to, like, swing, you know, just to just to proc an, an attack off just to get the number of battles. And then after it swings, you can still be a booster afterwards. So that's pretty good. OTT Heal Guardian. Um, Bermuda Triangle card. I have no idea what this does. But let's find out. Count plus one, discard a card from your hand and rest this unit, Vanguard Circle, and perform the following. Uh, if you have four or less force markers, get two imagine you get force. Reveal the same number of cards from the top of your deck and there's a number of your rear of force markers. Put them in your hand. Activate all the trigger effects from the revealed cards. Then, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, all of your grade two or less units on your rear of force markers can attack from the back row. So... It's essentially what it sounds like. You're not getting drive checks or attacking, but you're getting multiple attacks from your back row. You're applying the trigger effects from revealing uh, the top cards of your deck and adding them to your hand, so it's like drive checking. So this is a really weird Bermuda deck, but I kind of like what it's going for. That's a good card for Alt Mile. Uh, when your grade 2 unit is placed, other than from hand, put this in your soul, and that unit gets 15k until the end of the turn. That's a really good card for Royal Paladin, especially for Alt Mile. Um, but it's also good with Thinksaver, because when your grade two is placed on them from hand, so when you search it out with Thinksaver, you move this to soul, you give uh, Blaster Blade Seeker 15k, and then you know you, now you have more soul for Thinksaver, so that's really good too. Uh, Mega Lancer. Megalar La Megalara Lancer. Megalara Lancer. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, this gets 2k until the end of battle for each of your opponent's rested units. And then put a rigor into your soul and your opponent cannot intercept. Uh, that's okay. And uh, Pale Moon um, Searcher for grade 3s and gets 5k. Oh, it's also a bunny. So it, has, so it can work with, uh, it just direct support for the Beast Tamers. That's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, so consistently, so far, it looks like it is just one Heal Guardian and one Grade 3 Searcher per pack. So that's good to know. But they're not Clan packs, which is interesting. All right, we're getting into the Steel Dragon stuff. So, Corduroy, Act, Count Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Your opponent looks at five cards, uh, searches for a Grade 2, calls it. Shuffles if your opponent, uh, your opponent's auto builds do not activate, and if they do not call, you kind of charge, so you get to, you get a free retire. If they call a grade two, if they don't call a grade two, and then if you know if they do call a grade two, they can't do anything. But you're supposed to combo it off with um, seal dragon stuff, so it's it's a it's, it's a card. Uh, dimensional robo, die prop. I'm pretty sure this is a good card, but let's read it. Place on van, reveal normal unit. Uh, Put on the bottom of your deck, you draw a card, and if you put a grade 3, you draw a card. So it's on ride, you're drawing a card from the grade 0 you rode, you reveal the grade 3, you put it on the bottom of your deck, and you draw 2. That's really good. Um, soul plus 1, choose one of your vanguards on rearguard circle, gets 5k um, for each of your force markers. That's also really good. Uh, grade 3, um, kill guardian for Vimitas. Whoops, well that's Burning Horn, that's a reprint. Um, this is a new card, OTT. Uh, trigger Zone. When this card is revealed, uh, is regarded as a trigger instead of a norm unit, when this is revealed for your drive check, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets 10k, and you can count blast to give it a crit. That's really good. Especially with that other card we saw earlier that, um, puts normal units on the top of your deck, so you reveal this as a trigger, something gets 10k, and you can count blast to make it a crit. That's really dope. 
Burning Horn Dragon, when this will be discarded, discarded, it can be regarded as a grade three, so that's good for premium. Uh, when this is discarded from your hand, if your Vanguard's grade three or grade three, so last one you choose when your opponent's regards retire it. Pretty dope, but I honestly feel like this is mostly just premium support. Sure, Yuki's a reprint. Uh, place on Van Rear Guard, Soul Blast 2. Um, three of your, your opponent's units in the front will get minus 5, and this is on Van or Guard. If they get minus 10 instead, Vanguard Circle, when it doesn't hit, you can add a Shiro Yuki from your drop to your hand. Shiro Yuki is just overall a really good support card. Reprint of Sisyllus, Royal Paladin, Grade 3 Searcher, and that's the uh, Cordoroy Grade 2 from earlier. Next pack. Uh, Valencia got a retrain. Uh, when this is put into the drop zone from your soul, you buy in this card, choose two cards from your drop, um, put one into your soul, and put the other in the bottom. Okay, that's pretty decent. At the end of the battle, this boosted, put two rear guards in the same column as this unit into your soul, and you draw a card. That's not bad, because, you know, you want to be filling the soul anyways, and then, uh, at the end of the battle, it boosts, you just move to hand, move from rear to soul. We've had units like that in the past, like Jeffrey clones. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. Murkumo, when this is placed on Van or Rear, count plus one, reveal a grade two or less. Search your deck for up to one card with the same name as the reveal card. Call to Rear. Not bad. Not bad at all. When this attack doesn't hit, you put this on the bottom of your deck. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and you put it on the bottom of their deck. Not bad, but okay. Uh, Heal Guardian for Genesis. Dudley Emperor! Uh, when this... Uh, tax from Vanguard Circle or is wrote upon. Count plus one, search your deck for up to one grade two. A deadly call to rear. Choose one of your vanguards that gets 10k. And then rear van, uh, when your rear guard attacks, if you have Vanguard with deadly, that rear guard uh, gets 5k. And put a rear guard. So this works as stacks. So it's just if this is just sitting on rear, anytime a rear guard attacks and you have a Vanguard with deadly, um, you gets 5k and you put it on the bottom of the deck. So you can just throw this anywhere and it works. Uh, what does this do? Eradicator. When it's placed on van or rear, look at five cards at the top of your deck, reveal up the one Eradicator, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you put a and if you put a card, you have to discard a card. So it's like it's like the grade three searchers, but it's eradicator instead of grade threes, and then you just don't get the 5k, so it's not bad. Graceful Pair Ami, when this attacks a Vanguard, if you have five Rigorous, gets 15k. I believe that's a reprint. Grand Rope, the Grade 3 Searcher for uh, Dimension Police. All right. How are we looking? Next pack. Uh, some new Murakuma card. That looks sick. Well, its name is Sickle. Makes sense. Uh, when this attacks, you may have this get 5k. At the end of the battle, if this put this on the bottom of your deck, and if it was placed by a card's ability, you draw a card. Okay. Giraffa. When it's placed on Van, discard normal units, reject for Giraffa. Same grade as this carded card. That's really good. This card is reduced by Soul Blast 1 for each opponent's rested units, and you can, uh, when placed on rear, Soul Blast 2 to draw. So if they have two rested... You just draw. That's really dope. Heal Guardian for Narukami. Fortuna. Uh, Count Blast 1, Soul Blast, one or more cards. Look at the same number of cards on the top of your deck as never Soul Blasted. Put them on the top of your deck in any order. When this attacks, choose any number of your regards and Soul Charge for each that's chosen. And when a trigger is revealed, you get a Force Gift. Once per turn, though. Fumino, reprint. Place on Vanner Rear, you can search up to grade three from the top five. Um, put the rest on the bottom of your deck, and this gets 2k, so it's not bad. Midnight Bunny, more bunny support. Uh, when this boosts, still charge one, and when they attack this unit hits, you count boss one, put this in your soul, choose a non grade one, and call it to rear. Oh, there's one more. Lava Flow, right, 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 the grade three searcher. It's a Kagero uh, grade three search. Cool, we got four more, so let's keep it going. So, so far we're not seeing any duplicates, so that's good to see. Chamomile, um, you binning battle phase, you soul charge total of three or more cards, you can call us to rear. When this unit attacks, um, this unit gets 10k, so that's not bad. Luzios, Luzalos, sorry. 
If you have two or more force markers, it gets five shield and defense. If you have three or more force markers, it gets intercept and intercept from back row. Not a bad card. This is Heal Guardian for Spike Bros. Tetra Drive Dragon. Yay! Camblast 1, this gets 2k until the end of turn, so it's like the OG one. You could do that over and over. At the end of the battle that your rear guard attacked, you perform the following uh, on which battle it was. So if it was the fourth battle, discard 2, you stand this, gets drive minus 1. So if it was the seventh battle after your rear guard attacks, you discard a card from your hand, stand this. So you could just ignore the fourth battle part and restand this and keep the twin drive, or. You can do the fourth battle, restand, drive minus one, and then seventh battle, you kind of blast, you discard a card and stands again, you get another attack. This is interesting just because um, I don't know if there's any Aqua Force cards that give your Vanguard power, um, but obviously if you get triggers, like front triggers, you're just gonna, your Vanguard's going to gain power anyway, so that's cool. Cho'o reprint, Lucius reprint mostly for Thing Saver, so when you ride a grade three, you move this to soul and you draw a card, so that's obvious. And Mega Colony, Grade 3 Searcher. All right. Oh, this thing, Giraffe. Oh, this is good in premium, I think. Giraffe, Grade 2. Uh, when this attacks, Crown Blast 1, this gets 5k for each of your re opponent's rested units. And if your opponent has one or less rested, you draw a card. Not bad. All of your opponents are going to say, Kong can I intercept or move? I believe this is a new card. Beast Tamer Assistant, Chlorina. When it attacks, you put a card from your hand to soul. Choose a grade 2 or less from your soul and call it to rear. That's really good. If there's a total number of 3 or more grade 1s with bunny in its name, uh, different different bunnies, right? No, just bunnies. And if you have 3 or more grade 1 bunnies in your soul, this gets an extra drive on Vanguard Circle. Oh, this only works on Van when this attacks. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the grade 3 Beast Tamer turns it into Vanguard Circle, so you're going to get this effect off anyways. That's really good. Um, Deep Police Heal Guardian. Blockade. Seal Dragon Blockade, but not Inferno. Camblast 1, once returned retire all of your opponent's grade 2 rear guards. All of your Inferno gets 10k for each retired. If no units are retired, you get an extra imaginary gift force, so it's okay. Vanguard, if your opponent has no grade 2s on Vanguard rear, this original critical becomes 2. You can combo this with Dauntless to restand it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Marine General of the White. Waves for Legatos. When your Vanguard attacks, that unit and this unit get 5k. There we go. We got we got the answer to my previous question. That's how you get Tetra Dive to get more power. So every time Tetra attacks, this and Tetra get 5k. So I feel like this you gotta run it with that. This is Tetra Magus. When it's placed on rear, if your Vanguard's grade three or greater, you count plus one, draw a card revealed to one critical trigger. Put in your hand and put it on the top of your deck. So that's pretty decent. Grade 3 Searcher for Genesis. Uh, we got two more packs. Uh, we got the Grade 1 Seal Dragon on um, Cursey. Uh, when it's placed on Vanner Rear, Soul Blast discard a card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. If your opponent chooses up to one Grade 2 card in the hand and calls it. Oh, your opponent's auto effects do not activate. If they do not call, you draw two cards. So they can choose not to call a Grade 2. And if they don't, you get to draw some cards. That's really dope. That's actually, that's a pretty decent card. Uh, Blue Wave Marine General Kuteria. When this attacks a Vanguard, you choose one of your units and it gets 5k until the end of turn. If this unit is on the Vanguard Circle and it's the third battle of the turn or more, you draw a card. Honestly, that's really good in general. I mean, obviously you're going to give the power to Tetra Drive when this is on rear, but the fact you get to draw a card on Van is also nice. Nightmare Doll Lindy, Pale Moon, and an SP Giraffa. Don't know how I feel about that, <laughs> getting a Mega Colony SP, but here we are. Uh, giraffa skills when this attacks a Vanguard, Canvas 1, put a regard into your soul, your opponent chooses two from their hand and calls them as rest. And those cannot stand, their auto abilities do not activate. Vanguard, during your turn, this gets 5k for each card in your soul with Giraffa. And they're different names. If there are two or more, your opponent's Vanguard's Grade 3 Ritter gets two crit. Not a bad card. It's a mega colony, so all right. Uh, I believe this is a reprint. Um, Baton Twirler, when it's placed on Vanner Rear, from hand, you draw a card and you put a card from your hand in the soul. 
During your turn, if you called one or more cards, it gets 5k, so it's good for setting up. And reprint, Brad Black. Uh, Count boss one, three units in the front row get 10k. At the end of the battle that this attacked, you look at seven cards for a grade three, put it into your hand. Then if your opponent's vanguard's grade three or greater, you can discard two, and you ride a grade three that's not Brad Black, and it gets 10k and drive minus one. So that's, honestly, it's just a really good card in general. Uh, reprint for... Um, uh, Aqua Force Grade 3 Surger, and it's Blue Wave support, so that's pretty dope. We are on the last pack, and so far for like higher rarities than regular, because everything's pretty much triple R. Uh, we got one SP and one VSR. First up is Eradicator Demolition Dragon. Uh, at the end of the battle, that this unit attacked or boosted, if this attack hit, draw a card, choose up to one of your opponent's rear, uh, choose up to one card from your opponent's drop zone, bind it if you bound a card. And this unit's on your rear, you put this in your soul. But if it's on van and ahead, you don't have to worry about that. But that's pretty dope. It's a good ride target. Uh, we got Kaisered. Uh, when this is rode upon by a grade 3, you discard a card from your hand, get imaginary gift force, and you put that marker on your vanguard circle. During your turn, if there is a force marker on your van, it gets 10k. And if you have three or more markers on your van, this gets another 10. Uh, Covert Demonic Dragon. Kumadori, dope. Pretty dope. Hyoga. Look at five cards on the top of your deck. Search for a stealth fiend. Call it. Then if your opponent's Vanguard's grade three or greater, it gets drive plus one. For every two of your regards, a stealth fiend. And when a unit revealed for your draft tech, if it is a normal unit stealth fiend, you can call it. And it gets 10k. And if it's not... And if it's... Yeah, and if it's not, it gets, goes to drop. That is interesting. So if unit cards go to drop, but if a stealth theme gets called. Kind of give a take thing. Ambush Dexter. When it's placed on van, you discard a card from your hand, you draw a card. When it's placed on rear, combo boss one. Put a grade two or greater rear guard in your soul. You search your deck for up to two cards with the same grade as unit put. Call in a rear, that's really good. Terrific coil is a reprint, so it's like one of those restanders. It's uh when it attacks, if it's first battle, it just restands. And if it stands by a call ability, you can get 5k and a uh, grade 3 searcher for Murakumo. I'm sorry, uh, its name is Murakumo uh, for OTT, and that's the Demolition Dragon. So that was it for uh, the first box, Volume Collection 1. Um, it does seem like there aren't any duplicates, so it does seem like if you buy one box, you get one copy of everything. So that's good to know. So if you just get a box, you'll have everything that's in the clan. You'll get one copy of everything. And for our SPs, we got a VSR Blaster Blade Seeker and we got SP Giraffa. Don't know if that's worth it for the SP, but the uh, the Blaster Blade is pretty dope. Uh, I don't know if it's one VSR per box, but even if it is, having a Blaster Blade is pretty dope. I gotta admit that. All right. Now, let's go on to the next box. All right, this is the box that I've been waiting for because we got... A bunch of favorites in this one. We got we got Gears, we got Risers, Merc, uh, my bad, Nubitama, um, Bluish Flame. I'm so excited to be opening this box and Raging Forms at the top. This this is this is the box. Gotta gotta save the best for last, you know. <laughs> All right, and what's the marker I'm gonna get? Oh no, <laughs> it's the Ragey marker. Oh, man. I feel bad for the Blade Wing players out there, but, you know. All right. Oh, no. Does that mean I'm going to get an SP <laughs> Rachy because I got an SP Giraffa in the last one? All right, 12 packs. Oh, wow, it's got that nice gold finish on it. This is, I love this. Six, 12. Cool. Let's get a Kraken. First pack. So we got a uh, Iguana Gorg. Iguana Gorg, uh, if it has an equip gauge, it's reduced by Counter Boss 1. When it's retired, you Counter Boss 1. Calls to rear is rest. Once return, your drive check reveals the trigger. You can put the top grade deck as an equip gauge on this. Call any maker. When it's placed on Vanner rear, you still lost one. Discard a card from your hand. You'll get five cards. Choose one with Start Vader. Call to rear is rest. And if your opponent has a locked card, you can stand it. So more uh, more field building. Colin, that's what was Colin Maker's thing in the beginning. Shadow Paladin, Heal Guardian. Nice. 
Let's go. We got prominence core, but it's not as P, but that's fine. Oh man, the foiling is really nice too. I really like they didn't do the 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 static like weird regular triple R foiling they've always been giving us. I really like this foiling a lot. Act once per turn. Combo storm retire rear guard. You look at four cards from the top of your deck. Call two. If you have Percival in your soul, you call four instead of two. And then Van um, uh, Van Auto when your rigor is placed. Uh, it gets th this unit and that unit get 3k, and if, if you call it Aglavale, this uh, crit becomes 2. A lot of power, a lot of field building, gaining crits, fun card. Love Liberators. Uh, Blaster Dark reprint, that's a nice foiling on there though. Uh, Martina reprint. Um, Van, Soul Blast 1, Retire Rear Guard, look at 5, call 1. And then rear guard circle. Uh, when this is placed in the deck, this gets 5k to crit, so good rear guard pressure. And Branwin for uh, grade 3 searching. So let's put those aside for now. On to the next pack Palladium Starvader card. Um, when this is rode upon, you can call us to rear. When your opponent's lock card is unlocked, you combust one, retire this, and they look at the top card of your deck, and they call it to rear is locked, so keeping their board locked. Taping cat. When it's retired from rear, uh, when this would be discarded from your deck, or when it's like discarded from the top of your deck, you still lost one, and you can either draw a card or give a rear guard 5k, so that's not bad. Heal guardian for Nova Grappler. Daihuzen for Nubatama. When this attacks a van, Kamba Soul Blast. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and return it to their hand. This gets 5k in a drive. And if your opponent's vanguard's grade 3 or greater, um, and they have one or less rear guards, this gets 10k and a crit. So triple drive and a crit's really good. When your opponent's normal unit is placed on rear during their turn, if your opponent has four or more cards, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and they discard it. Oh, that's so good! That's so good, especially in premium. Wow, that's a really good card. Aglavel reprint. Wow, that's a nice foiling. Oh man, I love that. Uh, reprint, Regadon. Um, when this attacks, you put the top grade deck into an equip gauge when you rear guards. When this retired um, from a card ability, you call a card from this card's equip gauge to rear. Put the top grade deck face down into the unit that you called, and you can only do this ability. Uh, with the same name once per turn because it's really good. Great three searcher for Nubatama, and that's it. On to the next pack. Josephus. Josephus skill is uh, when it's wrote upon, you can um, look at the top card of your deck, and if it's a unit, you call it to rear. If you know it's a trigger, you can leave it there. When it's placed on rear by from your deck, not from card ability, soul blast one and cannot charge, and then. Soul Blast 1 and draw cards. You can do either Soul Blast to draw, Soul Blast to counter charge, or you can do Soul Blast 2 to do one of each. Peanut Black. Um, when your young Noble Pyre Peanut Noir is on Van Attacks, Count Blast, Retire Rear Guard, draw a card and call this to rear in the front row. Uh, rear Guard, this unit cannot be attacked, and this unit gets 5k for every three triggers in your drop zone. So that's pretty decent, because I feel like there's a card that lets you guard from the bind zone or guard from drop zone. There's something about that, but it's not bad. It's not a bad card. This is Grand Blue Heal Guardian. Ah, poor Ragey. If your soul is 10 or less cards, you soul blast one. Choose a card from your soul and you bind it face down. Binding face down. Gain all the following coordinate number of face down cards in your bind zone. Five or more gets 5K. Seven or more during turn, this gets 10K in a drive. 10 or more, this gets 10k and 2 crits. When this attacks, if your bind zone is 15 or more face down cards, you deal 2 damage to your opponent's vanguard, but it's like you get the soul blast to then pick another card from your soul and bind it. So you're losing soul. You're treating the bind zone as your other soul, so it's like it's just rough. It's, it's, a, it's a rough card. Hazard Sword Polarization with Nard. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. When this is placed on Van, you put a card from your hand. Uh, on rear is a locked card, and you draw a card. Don't know if that's helpful for Star Vaders. Count plus one, unlock one of your locked cards, and if you unlock a card, you soul charge one. I guess that can be helpful. Um, 
if you're playing like a mirror match or something. I don't know. But it's still, it's a card that lets you uh, soul charge, but you have to pay counter blast. Whirl of Ketzer, uh, when it's placed on guard, when it's placed retired from guard, you may put this in your soul, and when it's in the soul, you can bind this card and soul charge too, but it binds it face up, not face down, so that doesn't help. Uh, Padmini, grade three, uh, searcher for um, Neonectar. Ah, all right. Grand Blue card, uh, Sea Rolling, Sea Strolling Banshee. When this is placed on Van, you search your deck for a card, discard it. Um, at the end of the battle, this is attacked or boosted. You may discard two cards on top of your deck, and if you discarded one or more triggers, you can retire this unit and you can draw a card, so pretty decent. Lapid Riser. Lapir, Lapir Riser. When it's placed on Van, choose a Battle Riser from your soul, and you can call it to rear, so that's pretty dope. Count plus one, put a rear guard into your soul. Search your deck for up to one card with riser equal to the grade of the card. Oh, same name and with this in its name. So, hey, with the grade equal to the thing put in the soul. Uh, but it's grade plus one, call it to rear. So it's a searcher for risers. It's pretty dope. Angel Feather Heal Guardian, Chat Noir. Um, when this attacks, count plus one, draw a card, discard the top card of your deck, perform the following effects depending on the card's type. If it's Van, perform both. Normal unit, choose two of your rear guards and they get 5k. At the end of the turn, retire those. Trigger unit, choose one of your rear guards and until the turn, it can attack from the back row and it gets 5k. So that's pretty decent. Numatama grade 2. This is Road Upon, Soul Blast 1. If your opponent's Vanguard's grade 2 or greater, your opponent chooses a card from their hand, discards it. If it's grade 1 or less, you draw a card. That's dope. When this unit is placed on rear, so plus one, your opponent chooses a card from their hand, discards it. Then if your opponent's hand is five or less, they draw a card. Okay, so it's not, like, abusive. Uh, Negrobone, this might be a reprint. Discard a card from your hand, put this on the bottom of your deck, and call a great one from your drop. And if your drop is ten or more, you can call any great instead. And White Dwarf, grade three searcher for Link Joker. Let's see, Blaze Foresight. When this is placed on Van Rear, count plus one, choose two triggers from your hand, put them to your soul, and draw a card for each card put. I guess if you're trying to turbo out, turbo out um, Ragey, might be good. Rinal, that foiling looks extra good on this card. Um, when it's attacks or boost hits, uh, you look at top three for Avenger, you put the rest on the bottom. Um, and then when it's retired by a card ability, so plus one, and your opponent chooses a card and retires it, this is just a really good card because it works on Van or Rear, so you can swing with this, hit, look at top three, add Raging Form, really good. Heal Guardian for Link Joker. Mega Flare. The end of the ball that your Rear Guard with Riser attacked, Count Blast 2, rest this, and you stand this, you stand that unit and this unit, so this has to have not attacked already. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If you have no stand in the front row, count boss one. Choose a grade two with riser in its name from your soul, and you write it as stand. And for that turn, you choose a grade three card with riser in its name from your soul, and you at the end of the battle. So, yeah, at the end of the turn, so you go back into Mega Flare. But what's cool is that the fact that you choose a grade two riser, so it works with Cat Butler, because you have a Vanguard that's grade two. So that's really dope. Columbard reprint. When this is placed on Van or Rear, Count plus one, search your deck for up to one card, discard it, shuffle your deck, then call up to one card to drop, from drop. You can only use this once you turn the same card name, so one column bard. Uh, Steam Mechanic, Nabu, so Gear Chronicle uh, moves the soul and you draw a card. And Grade 3 Searcher for Nova Grappler. Alright, seems like this pack has all the Grade 3 Searchers in the back, let me just see. Yep, so this pack's a little more uh, consistent. Or maybe the other box was the same too, and I just wasn't paying attention. When it's placed on Van, you look at seven cards. Search out for the grade two or greater card with Hosen in its name. Reveal it and shuffle your deck. At the end of the battle, this attacked or boosted. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and return it to their hand. So bouncing stuff is dope. I really like the art for all the Hosen stuff. It really like I like how Anubatama's straying away from like the furry stuff, like Murakumo is, and it's just you got some decent swordsmen in there. Uh, serial. This is placed on Van or Rear. 
Count loss one, soul loss one. Search your deck for one normal unit, put in your damage zone. Shuffle. Uh, if a card is put, choose a card from your damage zone and heal it. And if your dam damage zone has one or less face down cards, this gets boost. It's an okay card. Um, Nubatama Dragon, grade three heal. Vera. Vera is a really interesting card. It's once per turn, you retire two rear guards, and you choose two cards when you drop, put them back into your deck, so kind of like Legion. Look at five, choose up to two cards from among the five, call them, and if you call two Musketeers, this gets another drive check. Really good. Continuous, if your opponent's Vanguard's grade three, and you have Soul in the front row, all of your front row get the trigger, the power and trigger effect when you reveal a trigger. So you run crits, boom, front row gets 10k in a crit, if you have Soul in the front row, just overall really good. Leofall reprint. Uh, Tor reprint. Once placed on Vanner Rear, you kind of one. Retire Rear Guard, you look at three cards on the top of your deck. Call two. And call two Musketeers in name or one card from among them to rear. Or any one card. And you put the rest on the bottom. So you can call two Musketeers pretty easily with that. Oh, it wasn't in the back. Oh, no, it wasn't in the back. I just moved these to the back. So, yeah, and then Mini Belly is a grade 3 searcher for great nature. All right, next pack. Fallon. Liberator Fallon. So, Fallon skills during your turn. If a rigor is placed from your deck, it's 5k. And then when this attack hits a Vanguard, you look at the top card of your deck. And if it's a unit, you can call it. But still looking at the top card to see if it's triggered or not is really good pressure, in my opinion. So, I like that card a lot. So more Celestials. When this is rolled upon, choose a card from your damage zone. Swap with a card in your hand. When this is placed on rear, count plus one, bind this. Put the top card of your deck in your damage zone. At the end of the turn, you may put this card into your drop. And if you do, you choose a card from your damage zone you put it into your hand. So damage denial, I guess. Clarity Wing, Gold Paladin, Heal Guardian. Infinite Zero Dragon. When this is placed on Vanner, rolled upon. You count plus one, you discard a card. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and lock it. If your damage zone is four or more cards, you choose a rear guard in your front row and back row instead. So kind of like the break ride. And then the Vanner rear skill is this gets 5k for each of your opponent's locked card. So it's a good rear guard skill as well. So really good card design. Demonted Executioner. When this is placed on Vanner rear, count blast, you soul charge three. And if you soul charge one or more triggers, you draw a card. When this attacks a grade to a greater unit, this gets 5k. It's a good reprint. Blue Spirit, once attacks, you put one or more from the top of your deck into a, uh, one card from the top of your deck into a, is an equip gauge for a rear guard. When it's retired, you call up to one. So it's like the grade two. You call up to one card from this unit's equip gauge, and then you put another equip gauge in, into the called unit. And we got Steam Breath. It's the grade three searcher for Gear Chronicle. Chrono Jet is still like the main Gear Chronicle unit, so I feel like Steam Breath is still fitting that aesthetic, which is kind of cool. So we got Dual Flare. Dual Flare's skill is Vander Rear during your turn. If you have no front row standing rear guards, this gets 3k for each of your opponent's grade. So this also makes Mega Flare obviously really good because it gets plus 12. No, plus 9. My bad. It gets plus 9. Um, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Put this in your soul. Choose one of your Vanguards. It gets 5k till the end of the turn. Um, and if you have no face-up card, any damage zone, counter charge, so good counter charge support. Bestial Squeezer. When this is placed on rear, put a normal unit from your drop into the bottom of your deck, and you may soul charge. Drop zone, you bind this card, but not face down. <laughs> Choose one of your rear guards, and you put it into your soul, I guess. Uh, Tachikaze Heal Guardian. Ramiel, this used to be the break ride. Um, when this attacks, soul blast one, you counter charge, and then stand all your rear guards with the same name as a face of card in your damage zone. For every two units you stand, you draw a card, and all of your rear guards and your, uh, your, yeah, all of your rear guards get 5k. At the beginning of your ride phase, if your damage zone has four or more cards, you may put the top card of your deck into your damage zone. If you do, you choose a card from your damage zone, put it in your hand. When this is on rear, you put this into your soul. Scaling Angel, when this is placed on van, discard a card, draw. When this is placed on rear, uh, if your drop zone has a normal unit, put a face upgrade two or less from your damage zone into your soul. Choose a normal unit from your drop, and you put it in your damage zone. So it helps like with Celestial's whole, like, have copies of themselves in um, damage. Smoke Gear is a really good card. Uh, 5k. And if you're uh, Rota Grade 4 this turn, you get to draw off your Soul Blast. If your Vanguard is Chrono Jet Dragon, when you discard, you, this counts as a Grade 3. 
obviously really good for all formats, like, I mean, both V Premium and Premium. Uh, Nakir is the great researcher for Angel Feather. We've got three left. Uh, we have Sol. That's uh, our triple R, so we're still missing our SP and our VSR so far. Uh, Sol skills when it's placed on Vanna Rear. If you have Vanguard Musketeer, you still lost one, retire a rear guard. Look at three, call one, put the rest on the bottom. And if you call the trigger, you can activate its trigger effect. And if you combo that with Vera, your whole front row gets the trigger effect. It's just really good. GG. Um, when this is this card from your hand, you may call us to rear. When your grade three or greater vanguard attacks, you still lost one or retire this. You draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets 5k. This is an okay card, but I know people are running it at one just because, you know, drawing cards is good. Heal Guardian for darks. We got Raging Form. Uh, just the base rarity, the triple R. When it's placed uh, on Van, if your damage zones four or more, you can blast search for a grade two or less Revenger. Uh, at the end of the battle, if this attack, you retire three Revengers. Choose a grade three uh, with Revenger in its name from your hand, and you write it. So this is just a really good card. Um, a ten brand uh, rest this unit act. Your opponent chooses one of their rear guards in the same column as this. Returns to their hand. And if this and if you know is returned, stand this and it gets 3k. Pretty good. Lemur, uh, one place if your vanguard's grade three or greater, you discard the top. And if it's normally you soul charge, triggering a counter charge. And Prison Bird is a grade three searcher for Tachikaze. We got three packs left. Tar two base rarity. Uh, it's one is placed from hand. You soul blast one. Search for Revenger. Grade one or less, and at the end of the turn, it has you have to retire it. But you're going to retire with Raging Form, so it's fine. Calabum, Calabum's a good card right now. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. You can boss one. You bind this. Choose any player's rear guards and put it on the bottom of the deck. If it's a grade two or greater, it was put on the bottom. You choose one normal unit from your drop zone equal to the grade minus one, and you put it into your hand. If it's a grade one or less, was put into the bottom of your deck. You draw a card and counter charge. There's a lot going on with this card, but overall it's just kind of like you neg your opponent or you can do it on yourself if your opponent doesn't have a board. Um, and if a grade one or less was put on the bottom of the deck, you get to draw a card in counter charge. So if you do it to yourself and return a grade one, you get the cost back plus a draw. So it's that's just dope in general. So Calabum's a good card. Neonectar Heal Guardian. Chronos Command Dragon. Uh, grade four, normal unit. When this unit's placed on Van, you can't bless one, so bless one, discard a card. Put all of your rear guards on the bottom of your deck. Look at five. Choose up to any number from among them. Call them to rear. Uh, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, your opponent puts all of their rear guards to the bottom of the deck. So this is a good one of if you have no board and you just kind of ride into this. Uh, you pick a rear guard. Um, even if you have no board, you can just can't bless one, so bless one, discard, look at top five, call a field. Easy. So Chronos Command's pretty decent. Uh, Ham's Gaze card. When the unit's placed on an additional rear, you put a card from your hand into your soul and counter blast, and that unit, this unit, get 10k, and if you have two or more additional rears, you draw a card. Nordstrom Dragon, this is good for, uh, you know, I was going to say Chromos Command, um, Chaos Breaker. So it's basically just if your opponent, you can bind your opponent's rear guard, and if your opponent has, a uh, um, Oh yeah, you just bind. I was gonna say if they have a bound card, but it doesn't say that. Um, you just bind your opponent's grade to a greater rear guard, and then you can retire this to counter charge, so getting counter blasts back for for um, chaos breaker. We have grade three searcher for dark irregulars, and yeah, that was it. Down the last two packs, so hopefully we get one DSR, VSR, and one uh, SP. Let's go to this one first. So we got the grade two Hosen. Uh, when this attacks a Vanguard. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, return it to their hand, and if your opponent's vanguard is grade 2 or greater, this gets 10k. When it's wrote upon by grade 3, uh, if your opponent has three or more rear guards, you choose one of your vanguards and it gets 10k and a drive. So you're going to get quadruple drive, basically, and an extra crit, so that first ride turn is going to be really aggro. Compass Lion. At the end of your turn, you choose one of your rear guards and you retire it. It's just an upgrade of the old one, but it's 13k. Uh, Gear Chronicle Heal Guardian. Uh, of course, we get SP Peanut Noir. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, during your turn, all your front row gets 5k for every three triggers. And then if you have a uh, peanut block uh, is placed during your turn, you soul blast one, discard two from the top of your deck and activate all the trigger effects. Really RNG, not that great. But I'd say it's SP. Yay. Uh, cool Hank, uh, reprint. When this attack hits, you soul blast one to draw a card. Uh, when it's on van, on rear guard circle, uh, when it's attacks, you discard a card to stand one of your other rear guards. So that's really good for risers too. And when this is placed on van rear, this gets 3k and you, well, you can't blast. And you return a card from your damage zone to your hand. You deal one damage to your vanguard and you can activate um, trigger effects because you're dealing a damage. This bit can only be used once per turn by the same card name. And Tommy the Ghosty Brothers. So you search searching grade threes for Grand Blue. So we're about to find out if it's one BSR per box right now in this video, because I don't know. We got Dino Crowd. Uh, when this attacks, Soul Blast 1 Retire Rear Guard. This gets 5 10k and 5k for each of this unit's equip gauges, so it's kind of like Mega Rex. Um, other skill is when your drive check reveals a trigger. Once per turn, you can put the top card of your deck into this unit as an equip gauge. Ruth, uh, don't think this is a reprint. When this is placed on Van, you call up to one plant token to your rear. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade one or greater, you call up to two. Uh, when this unit or your other unit is placed on rear from your deck, you retire this unit and you can counter charge. I feel like this is pretty decent for premium, obviously for V because, you know, Musketeers, but yeah. Great Nature Heal Guardian. Spinal Driver, when this attacks from the Vanguard Circle or is rode upon, counter plus one, retire two. Get an imaginary gift to excel and you draw a card. Choose a card from your hand and you call it, then choose two of your units and they get 5k. So you can get two excel markers when you ride on top of this, which is dope. When your drive track reveals a trigger, you can put the top card of your deck face down into this unit as an equip gauge. So that's pretty cool. Berengaria, that nice little triple R reprint there, looking nice. And Cat Butler. Um, so I don't think I got a DSR in this one. So this is the card I was talking about earlier that goes with, uh, Risers. At the end of the battle, your Vanguard did not hit. Soul Blossom will retire this. Choose one of your units and it gets 3k. And if it's a grade 2 or less, you stand it. So this is really good with Risers. Kind of like how it wasn't supposed to be for the OG Risers. Or maybe it was. I don't even know. But I like how they're bringing back that as a combo you can do. And Gorbaduck, uh, Gold Paladin's, uh, Search. So that was it for the box. Um, so basically our high rarities from both boxes are two SPs that I really don't care too much about and a VSR Blaster Blade, which still looks really dope, uh, Blaster Blade Seeker. So yeah, um, thanks again for watching the deck unboxing. I'm really excited to be doing more premium and V content thanks to all the support that we got from these two sets. So definitely be on the lookout for that in the near future. And that's pretty much it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.